Yeah, and we are really clear that, you know, what he's doing is very dangerous. We we drew a connection, um, well, we, we draw a connection to the kind of fervor that he seems able to whip up among his viewers with the, when you see these people showing right, up at, right, at health care, right. you know, the health care town halls that, that have happened over the past month, armed and, um, you know, with these signs that have these threatening messages on them and then these fist fights that are breaking out and, you know, people that show up just to kind of scream. It's like they're incapable of engaging in just civil discourse. And we think we really tie that to what the kinds of things that Glenn Beck says that really makes people feel afraid for their security. Yeah, yeah, um, and yeah. we see, we, and we also tie it to the kind of fervor that we saw, um, you know, back at the McCain-Palin rallies when, you know, at the mere mention of then-Senator Obama's name, you had people saying, you know, not one of us, and um, a terrorist, and kill him, and just these terrible things. And I think, you know, so I, I want to be clear that we don't, there, we don't find there to be anything funny or, you know, there's nothing funny about what Glenn right. Beck's doing. We find it to be incredibly dangerous. We need yeah. to confront it as such. Good point. Rick's in Maryland. Rick, God bless you. You're on the air with Danny McLean of Color of Change. Go ahead. Hey, how you doing? This is Rick. Yeah. Hey, I want to uh, thank um, your guest for everything she's doing, um, uh, you know, to speak out against Glenn Beck. But my question is, um, when President Obama was then the Democratic candidate, Every time he made a statement or someone, they presume from his camp, made a statement, the Republicans wanted them to, him to repudiate him, make him say something against him. We're the Republican Party speaking about Glenn Beck. Who's going to speak out? He's now the president of the United States. And furthermore, as far as the birthers and this, this thing with his birth certificate, wasn't John McCain born in Panama? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, that, and that was a legitimate question. The New York Times did a big piece on that. As to whether or not he was born at a time when the Panama Canal zone was considered a legitimate place for a U.S. citizen to be born. And I think the way that was resolved was that his because his father was in the military station as a U.S. citizen, I believe that that's all the requirement you need. But that that was a question that was raised. Sure. And it was raised and it was addressed. And then we moved on. Right. And it's like it's like we need to move on with this. That's right. Thank you, Rick, for your call. Uh, Moving quickly. Let's see. John's in Phoenix. John, God bless you. You're on the air with Danny McLean. Go right ahead. Danny, hi. It's a pleasure to talk with you. Uh, Hey, I was wondering, uh, I've never heard him say this, but can you provide proof that Glenn Beck has said he's a journalist, number one? And will you join me in boycotting any left-wing radio host or television host that has referred to George Bush or Dick Cheney as a racist? So ask, the last, ask the second part of your question again. Will I join you in doing what? Will, you jo- <laughs> will, will Color of Change join me in organizing a boycott against any left-wing radio or television host that has referred to George Bush as a racist? Well, let, let, in answering that question, let me spice it up for you. <laughs> I'm a left-wing radio talk show ho- host. George Bush and Dick Cheney are racist. Now, go go ahead, uh, Dan. Right. Exactly. The, the, I mean, and, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I can obviously. prove it, and I'll prove it. I'll prove right. it, and, and, and I'll and prove it. But, but be quiet. But see if you want. But why don't you be quiet and listen to? Why don't you be quiet and listen? You want the proof? You asked for some proof, didn't you? Why don't you be quiet and listen for the proof? Now, the first question, the first question, you want to prove that Glenn Beck says he's a journalist. I'll let Danny address that first. Go ahead, Danny. Okay. So. So, um, okay, so uh, um, Glenn Beck presents himself as a journalist and that he... I want to my question, ma'am. Okay. Has he ever said... Sir, are you going to let me answer your question? John, shut up, and, said, shut up and let her answer the question. Stop he, being rude. He's a journalist. This is a direct quote from Glenn Beck. The truth shall set you free. I'm going to offer up evidence that part of the strategy of this fundamentalist transformation of America is to silent dissent, to silence dissent. And then there was absolutely no proof of any effort in the works to silence dissent. He says things like, you are about to lose your freedom of speech in this country. Again, absolutely no proof that that's the case. He um, constantly presents himself as asking these questions, these fundamental questions um, that Americans need to investigate for themselves. That is- so may I respond now? May I respond no, now? Because well, if you can, well, would, would you let, let, let her finish, John? Let her finish, John. John, there, John. John. But, but see, but see, but see, you, you're Beck, though, John. You are Glenn Beck. No, see, you're, no, you're, you're shouting, you're over talking people, you're going crazy, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna count to three. And if you don't close your mouth, I'm gonna hang up on you. I'll let you call in as a conservative because you all don't let people on the left call in the right channels. You're able to call here, so I'm gonna give you one more chance to keep your mouth closed. Go ahead, Danny, and finish. So the point here is that he is 
acting as if he's raising these questions that have some, and, and that the answers to which, you know, that they're legitimate questions to be, to be raising. And, and they're not. The, the other thing is that he is on Fox News Channel. I'm not sure if you don't take that seriously, but I think most people in this country believe that when they tune into something that presents itself as a news outlet, right. news they're going channel. to be able to get news. Fox so, News Channel. That's right. And anybody else who does commentary no, or analysis, anyone who does commentary or analysis, if you read the opinion pages of the New York Times or of any major newspaper, yes, these people are offering their opinions, but they're rooting those opinions in fact. And yeah, in yeah. information that is provable in reporting, that is not what we see with Glenn Beck. Right. That, that is that, that, that is a, it, no. I don't think so because I got I got sir, other people I want to talk to. No. You've already you, 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 your your response your response was inherent he never in the question. Said, he never said he was a journalist. And you are it is a called liar, Fox News Channel. D- don't it, don't insult her. Don't insult you her. You and, and and you are less than a man you for insulting this young lady. And you are less than a man. Now listen, Fox. It is called Fox News Channel, John. It is called New. Look up news in the in the dictionary. Do you have a dictionary? Yeah. If I could just make Go one ahead. more point, I think it's really crucial to say. You know, look at look, the proof is in these sixty-two companies that have agreed that they don't want to be affiliated. Um, so you know, it's if if these are companies that realize that their brands will be damaged by appearing during a show where. Where you know this man, Mr. Beck, is passing off these these lies as journalism. I stand by that. We stand very firmly by that. That yes, he presents himself as a journalist, as a learned person who's raising important questions that Americans need to um, be thinking about. You know, it's it's um, it's not acceptable. It's not acceptable. We need we need good journalism in this country that helps us understand the very important policy issues that we face. Uh, Got to move quickly, folks. Lou, thirty seconds. Your question for Danny McLean. Go right ahead, quickly. Yeah, Danny. Yeah, I hear uh, who you who we shouldn't be listening to. But let me ask, ask you a question. Do you have a list of a host that I should be listening to that are like Obama approved? Uh, <laughs> oh, In terms of journalists, anybody? Tell me who I should be listening to. You're telling me who I shouldn't be listening to. No, I I never heard of this guy. <laughs> you guys started making a fuss about him. Right. I, I listened to it 10 minutes you never, ago. You never heard of Glenn Beck? No. Oh. Yeah. I heard 10 minutes, three days ago, I heard a 10-minute piece he did on Van Jones, which which basically blew him out of the water. He's history now. So the guy's pretty darn effective. Uh, thanks. And, 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 and so is Call of James. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think we're still lucky in this country. The the newspaper industry is under um, having a lot of problems with, uh, you know, staying afloat. I, there's a lot. There are a lot of problems with the, with the business model in journalism. But I think there are a lot of news outlets that rely on reporting and that send people out to cover meetings and that you know where people are doing serious investigative reporting. And I think that that's what we need to be relying on to right. make sure that we're informed. Uh, James in South Carolina, you've got the last word with Danny McLean of ColorofChange.org. Well, D.R. Hughley was on CNN for a while. And also, you know, the problem is, is that does does Von words, Von John's own words mean anything? I mean, it ain't like he was saying things and making them up unless you agree with what the man was saying, and that's understandable. But these are words out of his mouth. All he did was replay what the man said. That's all. That's all Glenn Beck did. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so you support what Glenn? Yeah. You, you a Glenn Beck supporter then, right, James? No, I'm, I'm, saying? I, I, no, I'm not a Glenn Beck supporter, but I don't, I don't like that mentality of the man that that, that was thrown out. And I don't want him sitting next. What, 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 men, what mentality? What mentality is that, James? The white people are poisoning blacks and agriculture, and he, oh man, just the whole yeah. thing. No, I think it's an important point. I think in order to, um, you know, one thing I would say in response is if it's possible, go find the full text or the right. full video right. of Van Jones speaking in those instances because what Glenn Beck did was cherry-picked and basically distorted right. Right. so much of, of, who, of what Van Jones was actually saying. He took his statements completely out of context right. and presented them as if, um, it presented them in a very narrow way that basically took any kind of real meaning out of what he was getting at. So um, right. I, I right. appreciate that question, and I, yeah. I respond very seriously by encouraging you to go and find the full, you know, the full context of what uh, of what uh, Van was saying in those in those instances. Glenn Beck should not be your primary source for news and information. That is the point. You believe what he cherry picks, just like when he says the president is racist. How many people believe that because he said it? 
That's the power of the media and colorofchange.org has been effective in doing what it has done. Join the campaign, colorofchange.org, colorofchange.org. One of the campaign managers there is Danny McLean. Danny has been, I'm sorry you had to hear me act ugly, Danny. Uh, <laughs> it gets like no that. Problem. I can handle it. I can handle it. 